Ankh here today with Junk Thor. I saw this listed as a silent performer on Marvel Snap Zone, and whenever I see a deck listed as such, I know that it's probably a little off meta, there's probably a cool combo that I may not have ever played before, or something interesting going on that's just a little quirky. And this is definitely that. We got the Thor Annihilus combo. So basically, one of the combos in this deck is to play your Thor down to get your Mjolnir. You play your Mjolnir with the Yellow Jacket, right? It gets hit and it goes from zero power to minus one power, and then you're able to send that over with Annihilus, which is pretty cool, right? You're able to junk up their board kind of unexpectedly. And all of these things basically have on reveals, which allows for a lot of bounce potential for your werewolf. And just a lot of value cards, like the Jane Foster is kind of cool because you can draw both the Yellow Jacket and the Mjolnir. But the big problem I found is that turn six happens and often I wanted to wait on Annihilusing till turn six because of the fact that I did play Jane Foster or maybe there was some better combos with just like bouncing around my werewolf on turn five. And then here it is, turn six. I want to play my Annihilus, right? I want to get that void over from the Sentry to my opponent's side, but I can't play Annihilus plus Shadow King on turn six. And I also wanted to play my Shadow King because maybe my opponent had just like a giant Venom from their Deadpool Destroys um, or a giant Deadpool from the Deadpool Destroy, or a giant blob, or a buffed up board that I know is going to hit from the Silver Surfer. And so that awkward energy level of not being able to play both Annihilus and Shadow King really hurt me in a lot of games, which is why I think you'd be better off suited to swap out Mobius for Magic, because this deck could really use that extra turn. And then on turn 7, you can play Annihilus plus Shadow King, which would be really strong. Uh, it also just gives you an extra turn for some more bounces with your Werewolf, which is pretty solid. The other little thing you might want to do is swap out Enchantress for Shang-Chi. Ultimately, that depends on the meta that you're seeing, but I really was not seeing many ongoing cards that were good for Enchantress. Uh, I was seeing a lot of giant cards, like Deadpool Destroy decks with the giant Venom, what have you. And so the Shang-Chi would have better suited me in those games, but... That all depends on the meta you're seeing. I will include the deck code with Magic instead of Mobius because I think that is the better deck, but you're free to change that if, if you disagree and you think that this raw list that was listed there on Marvel Snap Zone is better. Uh, but ultimately, I think the deck's a little clunky. It's definitely not a tier one deck. At best, it's a tier two, but it's probably realistically a tier three. It's just kind of a fun, off-meta, junky bounce deck. I think the raw... Annihilus bounces better than this one, but this is pretty solid. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy the games! I feel like we've kind of had not optimal draws so far. Like, we really want Zab to turn two. Like, I guess the dream play would be Hood or Nico turn one, Zab turn two, Thor turn three. Or I guess at that point, with Zabu down, maybe Werewolf turn three? There's Zabu. I'm gonna move right anyway, but still play it there just in case the right location is something dangerous. Or in case my opponent overwrites the Bifrost with Storm, Scarlet Witch, Legion. I guess Legion would be too late. So that's why we play to left still. It's a pretty good hood play. Just have to keep in mind with Shadow King, we won't be able to play this turn six with the Nihilus. So, still doesn't really make much sense to play it now, but. Warpath, huh? So he probably has Scar. I think we'll just play the demon down now because we're gonna likely have some issues with energy here in the next two turns. Oh, helps free up our hand a bit as well. So he probably has Ronin. But we're gonna want Annihilus right away because we won't be able to destroy the void in the hood. So can he fill up the lane? That is the question. Uh, yellow jacket. I 
think it's probably a good idea to not play Yellow Jacket right now. I mean, I guess I could play it, get an extra plus two here. We'll do that. All systems go. Winning two lanes right now. You can't rely with me. Not sure what he's gonna do about right. Like he just loses right. Uh, we can destroy his Ronin with Enchantress. And what else do we play down? The plus two power. Do that plus Shadow King. I think I'd rather just Werewolf. Really don't know, like, does he have his own Annihilus? If he has his own Annihilus, that would be pretty devastating. Maybe I'll do that just in case he has his own Annihilus. Enchantress. Okay, pretty solid. Meanwhile, I like finding smaller uh, streamers, but the thing about that is I have no freaking clue, like, who they are. So, like, I don't want to send y'all to somebody uh, who's, like, being crazy or anything. Or I feel like I can never find anybody. Who's this guy? This guy seems interesting. He's not playing Eliath. All right, uh, we're going to raid this guy. All right, again, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, I will see y'all. Oh my gosh, what the heck? <laughs> I look over one second later, I have 500 people. Oh my god. Uh, hi, y'all. Thank you, Molt. <laughs> we have 200 retreaters as well from the viewers, but that's okay. That's going to happen with the uh, raids, I would imagine. Wow, doesn't Molt have, like... Gotta have like 50k YouTube subs, I think. Alt snap. Maybe more? Yeah, 51.8k? Dang. Well, I guess I'll just plug it now. Check out my YouTube. I do daily Marvel Snap. Uh, link in there. Same tag on Candy. If you're interested, Kingpin. I can't Enchantress that. Kingpin Selene. Ha ha ha. The Great Web's kind of awkward for Sentry. Maybe we hold on to it for a turn? Just to psych them out? This is really bad, though. <laughs> oh. Things are going to be less likely to move here because of Great Web. Possibly? I'll just do that. <laughs> Don't play a Lyth. I played a lot of Lyth in the past. Uh, but I've gotten pretty tired of a Lyth. It's probably going to fill that up before I have a chance to play a Nihilus, but that's okay because presumably we can just delete that. He discarded a Nihilus. Is that a random Nihilus from the hub? Or was he actually just playing that? I don't think he's going to have any real ongoings here. We could also... Do that in preparation of Annihilus. Try and fill up middle because of that. Can you play three cards? Free up minus all of that. <laughs> but I don't think we'll have 11 power. Uh, I think we just Annihilus now. We're just one point away there. Now he could pull it with Magneto. So because of that, is there a way I can play two cards and get a card there? I guess a card could get pulled by like Zabu. Zabu can get pulled. So maybe we just play 
that. My Zabu gets pulled. I think we're good. He has minus three there. It's like a 50-50 if it pulls Zabu or not. Let's go! <laughs> oh, shoot. Because <laughs> uh, Blob was such an insane power level that basically no other decks could keep up. But now, decks have gotten a little less greedy. You don't really want a demon Zabu. I think we'll just hold on to it. So we can Zabu Werewolf. Oh no. Ugh, like one of our best cards. Um, well, <laughs> I guess we can draw with Yellow Jacket. We don't have to draw this turn, but. have a turn next play, so I think we ought to draw this turn. I played a lot of Hearthstone. Uh, I grew up playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. I Ego. Ego. And this is oh. my domain. I am such a dedicated Ego fan, I snapped in uh, an Infinity Border game. It was my game 4 out of 5. And I played it through, and I won. Uh, even though it wasn't looking good. Big Ego fan. <laughs> Alright, my hands are with you, Ego. You got me, we Annihilus next turn, we send over Widow's Fight. Send over our sentry. Our void. Send over our green goblin. Now, it looks to me as though he is an Annihilus deck, so maybe he's playing his Annihilus now. Thank you, Ego. Go ahead, play the Annihilus now. Yes. Okay. He just has to pick Annihilus. Not an Eyeless. <laughs> Interesting. Whoa. Ego's really, uh... He's doing some things here. We lose, right? I stay true to my word, though. <laughs> we, minus 10. We're minus 1 left. And minus 6. Minus 7. Maybe we, uh, we say, I am confident. Trick him out that we have uh, Annihilus being played right now. <laughs> Elia. <laughs> oh man. We were minus at two of the locations. It's pretty brutal. Just makes some of the surprise factor not as good. And I know most people typically Annihilus on turn five. Like, a lot of times in this deck, you want to, or at least there's some desire to just play Jane Foster instead. That's pretty solid. Couple copies of that. <laughs> really not the worst thing in the world, because we can always... Not always, but we could potentially Shadow King that. Get the power reduced back. It's normal, or increased back. Normal reduced. We'd rather... It's Thor here. The times two. Face the might of Asgard! Mjolnir! There's the Shadow King. 
bishop, huh? That hasn't really revealed a whole lot. He has a Shadow King emblem. They might have Shadow King. Makes maybe the Nico not actually that great because <laughs> he's just gonna Shadow King it. He could Shadow King his bishop. That's way better probably than whatever else. like that. <laughs> we can send cards over. Uh, gotta remember, we're gonna get this Nico buff. So maybe kind of puts us in an awkward position then. Should have played the Nico first, huh? Uh, okay. Not really a way to do it then. Just throw some power down. He doesn't actually get the benefit, though, since... Shadow King's pretty good here. The only problem is... We'll probably just lose if we do that. We can't play anything else. Maybe we just go for the Annalis game plan, like we said. Like we do that. Just that. Play it here, we have a chance of winning this lane. It's pretty unlikely, though. Like, they're almost certainly going to, uh... We could just play Nihilus middle. I feel like that's the game plan, honestly. We'll do that. Four. I think that's pretty solid. Giant hit monkey. Okay. Oof. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Victory. I was so close, actually. Yeah, the Nihilus middle was definitely the play, I think. If we had played it left, we'd be tied at 13, though, right? So maybe it would have worked out okay left anyway, but maybe just a powerful one drop as a, some kind of back of game plan. Turn six. Maybe just a six drop as a back of game plan. My favorite thing about this game is the the snap dynamic um, the fact that you could potentially bluff someone or you know that feeling of when they snap <laughs> and you immediately snap back and you're pretty confident with what's going on that always feels super great the whole changing priority thing is actually like a really cool aspect of this game because priority consideration in most games it's just like whoever goes first has an immediate advantage Right, but in this game, there's not really that whole dynamic happening because priority just ends up getting flipped back and forth depending on. The lead. I think we'll just or... face the might of Asgard. Mjolnir! The later we sentry, typically the better. Less people, less time they have to fill up the right location. played a carnage yet so makes us a little more awkward could just delay a turn Jane Foster we drew our Molière that's Mjolnir <laughs> uh, makes it a little more awkward here because we can still draw a yellow jacket which is kind of nice but I think delaying a turn is good though because he's likely Destroy. Enough 
set, bub. Shadow King would be really nice. Shadow King. I have Elias. Send that on over. Red Rover, Red Rover. Also send over this. This will have minus two. One minus before we send it over. That's a net benefit still. There's nothing I'm missing here, right? I mean, we could bounce around a Wolverine. Wolf. But that's our best hope. Mjolnir, to me! He's solid, just a null not enough. Not enough. Victory! 